Hi, welcome to my topic Circuits and Networks. I am Raikant Mala Joshua and today we are going to discuss with a new theorem called Kelligan's Theorem. What does Kelligan's Theorem state? It states that the algebraic sum of the powers in uh, all branches of the network at any instant of time is zero. So mathematically it can be written as sigma vk ik equal to zero where k will be representing the branch voltage or branch current. So that is why we are taking for the number of branches k is ranging from 1 to n. So we have to make sure that this condition is valid for the networks which obeys Kirchhoff's voltage law and current laws. To prove the Telligan's theorem, we have selected this problem. You can see there is a voltage source uh, deriving some resistors. Let the voltage source be V1. I'm identifying the nodes as ABCs and we have to find out the branch voltages and branch currents. For that sake, I'm taking I1 in this direction. Randomly, I have selected the direction of I1. When I1 is entering to the positive terminal of V1, both the values I1 and V1 are said to have a power which is absorbing. Okay, if at all you see that this is absorbing, then the opposite sign indicates the power is delivering. Okay, so here I2 is entering over this particular resistance, I3 over here. So when I3 is over like here, the developed voltage will be in this fashion, that is the positive power. So power will be equal to V3 I3 for this particular branch. Then for this particular branch, the voltage will be obtained in this fashion, V2, and the power will be I2 V2, positive power. Then you can see I4, we are treating this I4 as the branch current between B and C, and I5 between B and reference. So the voltage will be developed as V5 over here and V4 over here. Similarly, you can identify the value of current as well as the branch voltage in this fashion. So this is how we have selected the powers in this particular circuit and we have to prove that the sum of the powers in all the branches of the circuit is equal to zero. So for that, we have to go ahead. So according to the Tilgen's theorem, this is the definition and we are making individual branch voltages and currents in power form in this form. Now you can have V1 I1, similarly V2 I2, V3 I3, V4 I4, V5 I5 and V6 I6. So this is how it is elaborated. When this is elaborated, now I'm going to take individual branch voltages and currents in step by step process. First you can see V1 I1, so this is the branch voltage between node A and reference 0. So V1, I1 and both are in positives because I1 is entering to the positive terminal of voltage. Then next you have to identify V2. V2 you can see it is situated over here. So it is in between A and C. So A and C it is situated. So I am treating A as V1, C as V6 because V6 is obtained over here. You can see positive terminal is here, negative terminal is now. So Vc is equal to V6 and Va is equal to V1. So I can write V2 is equal to V1 minus Vc because the positive is over here, negative is over here. Got this point? So V2 is replaced by V1 minus V6 and multiplied with I2. Now this becomes this branch power. Now go with the next branch that is V3 I3, V3 I3. What is V3 here? V3 is placed between A and B. So in fact, Va is equal to V1 and vb is equal to v5 so i've been writing the value of v3 as v1 minus v5 multiplied with i3 is this clear right then we have v4 i4 v4 is over here i4 is over here so v4 is placed between voltage v point and voltage c point clearly by inspection vb is equal to v5 and you have vc is equal to v6 so V4 can be written as V5 minus V6 times I4 plus V5 I5 as it is, V6 I6 as it is. Okay, so this is the alterations we have done with the formula. Now I'm taking all V1s aside 
because you have here v1 you have here v1 here you have v1 so v1 i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus v6 this is v6 over here you can see this v6 is multiplied with i2 v6 is also multiplied with i4 and you have v6 i6 so v6 times minus i2 minus i4 plus i6 similarly identify v5 v5 is associated with i3 v5 is associated with i4 and v5 is associated with i5 so v5 times minus i3 plus i4 plus i5 so this is how we have rearranged the voltages and drops in the branch terminals now this we treating as equation 1 now applying case at the node a b and c respectively we get i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 then you have i3 which is equal to i4 plus i5 then you have i6 which is nothing but i4 plus i2 so substituting these values in the equation 1 we are going to get v1 times 0 plus v6 times minus 2 plus i2 minus i4 plus i4 so all this goes on and we are going to left out with 0 hence we have proved Tillian's theorem calculate the power supplied by the source in the circuit shown in figure 2 now you can see you have source voltage v okay and it is deriving the power to the entire network already the directions of voltage drops as well as the currents are given in the problem so you are going to apply simply the formula so power supplied by source voltage is nothing but is equal to the delivered power so 15 times 4 plus 10 times 1.8 plus 6 times 2.2 plus 12 times 7 plus 5.5 times 4.8 so these are the sum of the powers which is equal to 201.6 watts it's a simple problem just we have summed up all the powers of the given circuit and it should be equal to 0 but we don't know what is the source voltage here and when the source voltage is not known source current is also not known so when you are going to find out the source voltage and source current that should be matched with the delivered power so it is equal to 201.6 watts now this is an interesting problem we have to find out node voltages and individual branch currents and verify Tillian's theorem for this particular circuit which is shown in figure 3 okay so these are the problem given we have to prove Tillian's theorem for that we are starting the solution by identifying the nodes as ABCs respectively and reference node has taken as 0 here reference node is taken as 0 by clear inspection we can say there are 6 branch currents why 6 branch currents this is 1 this is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So that is how we have 6 branch currents. Now identifying the nodes A, B, C. Then I am taking the branch currents randomly I am selecting I1, I2, I3, I4, I5 and I6. So this is how I selected the branch currents randomly. Okay. Now applying KCL at node A. KCL at node A. The RGB sum of the currents at a particular node is equal to 0. So you can see from this point to this point 6 amperes is coming towards node A so minus 6 plus VA minus VB whole divided by 1 so VA minus VB divided by 1 it is nothing but is equal to 1 so VA minus VB plus VA minus VC plus 10 divided by 1 so it, it gives the equation as 2VA minus VB minus VC equal to minus 4 this we are getting as equation 1 then applying KCL at node B. So VB minus VA by 1, VB minus VC by 1, VB by 1 will give you the value of second equation as minus VA plus 3VB minus VC equal to 0. This is the second equation. Similarly, applying the KCL at node C, we are going to get VC minus VA minus 10 whole divided by 1 plus VC minus VB by 1 plus VC minus 10 by 1 equal to 0. So this will be reframed as equation minus VA plus my sorry minus VA minus VB plus 3VC is equal to 22. Why 22? Because you have minus 12 here minus 10 so it goes to the right hand side and becomes 22. So equations 1, 2, 3 you need to solve. You are going to get the value of VA is equal to 7 volts. 
VB is equal to 6.25 volts and VC is equal to 11.75 volts. Now once the values of VB, VC are obtained, I am taking the values as V1, V2 and V3 respectively. So VA is equal to V1, VB is equal to 6.25. So similarly, I am taking the value of VB equivalent to V2 which is equal to 6.25. Just I am renaming re, uh, the node voltages with V1, V2, V3 respectively with VA, VB, VC. So VC is equal to 11.75 indicates V3 is equal to 11.75. So these are the node voltages we obtained. Now we need to find out the currents. So first branch current I1 is given as 6 amperes. So, so 6 amperes as it is. Then you have I2. I2 is equal to VA minus VB by 1. So it is V1 minus V2 by 1 which is equal to 7 minus 6.25 which will give you the value as 0 0.75 amperes. That is the current flowing in this particular branch. Then you have I3, I3 it is flowing over here, so VA minus VC plus 10 by 1 which is equal to 7 minus 11.75 is the value of VC or V3 plus 10 it is the voltage given here is equal to 5.25 amperes. So this is the another branch current. Next we need to find out I4, I4 will obtain as minus 5.5 amperes. Similarly I5 is equal to VB by 1 which is equal to 6.25 amperes. And I6 is equal to minus 0.25 amperes. So this is how we obtain the branch currents. Now once the node voltages are obtained, branch currents are framed. We are applying the Telegram's theorem. So V1 minus I1. Why V1 minus I1? Because here I1 it is going away from the voltage. I1 is going away from the voltage V1. So if at all the direction of the current was in diamond direction, I would have taken V1 plus I1. And that is why I have taken here as minus because it is moving away from the source voltage. So V1 minus I1 plus. You can see we need to find out the value of this branch voltage. So it will be V1 minus V2. Okay, times I2 plus. You have I3, I3 is over here. So V1 minus V3, V1 minus V3 will give you the voltage across this branch times I3 plus V2 minus V3, V2 minus V3 will give you the value of voltage over here times I4 plus V2, I5, this is the power over this particular branch plus V3, I6, this is this power, this branch power. So we are going to apply the things. We know that I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5, I6 are obtained like this and we have V1, V2, V3. Just we need to substitute the values in this equation. So you can see as substitute the value you have V1 equal to 7, I1 equal to minus 6, V1 minus V2 7 minus 6.25 times I2, I2 is 0 0.75 then V1 minus V3 so 7 minus 11.75 times I3 is 5.25 plus you have V2 minus V3. V2 is 6.25 minus 7.75 times I4. I4 is minus 5.5 plus V2. V2 is 6.25 and I5 is also 6.25. So you can square this term plus V3 11.75 and you have I6 which is equal to minus 0 0.25. So substitute the values. I'm getting minus 42 plus. 0 0.5625 minus 24.9375 plus 30.25 plus 39.0625. This is the value of 6.25 square minus the last value minus 2.9375. So I'm taking all the minus terms on one side and positive sums on next side. So this will give you the value as minus 69.875 and this will be obtaining the value as 69.875 thereby proving the Telegram's theorem that the algebraic sum of the powers of the branches of the circuit is equal to 0. So in today's class we have discussed about Telegram's theorem. It's a very simple theorem. It is generally used to find out the powers of the branches in a particular circuit. So you like my video, please share among your friends, subscribe to my channel and please 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 Press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.